so I hope you're well and having the most incredible day as always welcome back to my channel and welcome to my what I got for my birthday video now I turned 29 gross on the 22nd of January and as always I thought I would film a what I got for my birthday I got some really incredible presents and I thought I would sit down and share with you what I got as always I am not bragging showing off that kind of thing I did get a few people message me and ask if I would film one because they'd like to watch them so that's what we're doing today I hope you guys enjoy I am going to be doing this in no particular order I'm just going to literally pick things up from the pile next to me and share them with you and show you who got me what so yes that's what we're going to be doing today I hope you guys enjoy and carry on watching so the first thing I received was from Ryan and he picked me up the new naked palette by Urban Decay this is the Robin Elsenberg palette I don't actually know I saw it online and if you guys don't know or you haven't watched me for a long time I used to collect naked palettes I haven't bought myself a naked palette I don't think since 2020 so I've kind of held off but I did see this one online and I absolutely loved the look of it I am wearing it today but I thought I would put it back in the packaging just so you guys could see how beautiful that was it's absolutely stunning and it comes with some really lovely colors I'm gonna blind you sorry um, it comes with some really beautiful colors I absolutely love it so that was the first thing Ryan bought me for my birthday and I'm in love with it so thank you so much Ryan I'm obsessed and I just cannot wait to use it more. So that was the first thing I got. A few jewellery pieces I received I thought I would show you now before I forget because I'm actually wearing them and I didn't want to just forget while I'm doing everything else. So I got two rings from Pandora. The first one is this one which my mum and dad got for me. It's just a really, I don't know if you guys can be able to see it, it's just a really simple gold band with a kind of navy blue stone in the middle. It's part of their kind of... Um, what's the word, like birthstone range. I actually got two, so it was these two which I got for my birthday. Um, one is like a dark reddish pink and one is blue. Um, I'm not really sure what dates these kind of correlate to, but they were in the sale when um, we picked them out. Um, so I didn't know I was getting them, but they're really, really beautiful. And the second jewelry item is another thing from my parents and it is this really pretty silver locket. It's actually got photos of both of my grandparents on their wedding days inside which is so thoughtful and kind so I'm so, it's just like the most precious piece of jewellery that I own and I absolutely love it. So those are some jewellery pieces I got. thought I would go through those now just so I didn't forget. Now moving on to more things. I don't even know where to start. I feel very overwhelmed. So I'm going to just pick up things at random. Let's go with this bag. Something I actually asked Ryan for for my birthday was a heatless curler and I actually had one of these from Amazon a while ago which I liked but I didn't love it. Um, so I really wanted one of the original ones. So this is by Eternal Muse. I also just want to say that this box, the quality of it is just unreal. But inside he picked me up a special curl comb which looks like this which you can sort of use to curl, brush through the uh, heatless curls. And essentially what it looks like inside, I will show you now the packaging by the way, I can't get over it, it's just stunning, but it looks like this. So you have the heatless curler, the clip and the two scrunchies. And I'm just really, really excited about this. I have used it a couple times, I am still, trying to figure out how to make it not so voluminous at the top <laughs> so if you have any tips let me know but I'm really really excited to have this because it just makes my hair feel incredible and like I said I am trying to look after my hair this year so I was really really happy with that and he picked this out as well which I'm really excited about so that is another present from Ryan. Next are quite a few little bits and pieces from Ryan's brother and his fiance Kaylee so I'm just gonna pick them up. So the first two things are some mini reed diffusers. These are both from Primark I believe. Um, one is in fresh linen and one is in peony which I really love and I love how small they are. They're really really sweet so I can't wait to put those up in the flat because it will smell delish. We then have a few bookish things as well. So they got me a Waterstones voucher, which I'm really, really excited about. I actually went into Waterstones earlier today. I should have used this really, I completely forgot. Um, but I'm really excited to spend that. We also have a letter bookmark so it's got an m on it obviously um and it's copper so cute love the look of that and then another bookish thing we have a book light because i was actually really really needing one of these and i just never bought one i don't really know why i didn't buy one but you clip it onto your book 
and it's a light so you haven't got to have a massive lamp on if you're reading in the dark so I really love that. From Stephen and Kaylee I also got some orange and bergamot fragrance oil. This one goes in the diffuser they bought me for Christmas. I'm really excited to try this because I've been holding off to film this video so that I can <laughs> show you the packaging and everything but I'm really excited to give this one a try. We currently have the sleepy one from Neom in there at the moment which smells incredible so I'm going to put this one in next. I'm really excited. They also picked me up some pyjamas. These are some really lovely um, tartan like grey, green and sort of cream. I absolutely love these. I am still wearing my Christmas pyjamas. I obviously have washed them um, but I'm still kind of going towards my Christmas pyjamas because they're so comfortable so I'm excited to have a pair of non-festive pyjamas to wear. And lastly they bought me two items from Lush because as you guys know I'm a massive Lush fan. Um, the first thing they got me was the Lovebug bath bomb from the Valentine's Day range. It's so good. The smell of this is delicious. I absolutely love it. So that was the first thing. And secondly, they picked me up the Sleepy box set, which has the Sleepy shower gel and Sleepy body lotion inside, both things of which I absolutely love. And I actually re like really rarely ever receive one of the wrapped up Lush packages. I don't know if I ever have. I think I have had maybe one or two in the past. So I'm really excited about this and I'm just, I love it. And the packaging is so beautiful as well. So I'm really thankful for that. So thank you guys so much if you're watching. I loved everything. I think that was everything you bought. I'm pretty sure that was everything. So thank you guys so much love it all. The next item I got from Ryan and he picked out a Pandora charm for me and this is the really cute little aerial one. I absolutely love it. The Little Mermaid is my favourite Disney film of all time so I think that's probably why he picked this one out. Either that or he thought it was really cute and I'm really really impressed. I absolutely love that and I'm going to pop that on my bracelet as soon as I finish filming this video so that was also from Ryan. The next three things are from my parents and they are clothing items. So the first thing is a jogger set because because I do absolutely love a good jogger set, especially for like a Sunday or if you're just gonna go to Starbucks and have a read. This is the vibe. So I actually picked these out myself. These are from New Look and I believe they were 19 99 for the top and then 19 99 I think for the bottom. So around about 40 pounds, which can be quite expensive, I don't know. But they do last really well because I actually have a jogger set which I got for Christmas, not just gone the year before or it could have been the year before, and they are now just disgusting, so they do last a really long time. Anyway, this is the colour, absolutely obsessed. They're really nice because they have the kind of cuffs at the bottom, so they don't kind of swallow my ankles, um, and I love it. And then we have a matching hoodie, which again, so, so nice. I love sage green, so this is just, I love it. So I'm really, really happy to have that, and I cannot wait to finally put it on, so I'm really excited about that. I then also have a pair of jeans, which are the New Look Tory jeans in short, because I am a very, very short human being, um, and they're just these really nice kind of like, I don't know how to describe it, like they are black, but they're not like they look black on camera. Oh, it's like washing me out. Um, they do look black, to be fair, but they're kind of like washed black does that make sense i don't know i just really like how they're not skinny so i really really like those um and i just love a good new look jean so big fan of those and i always ask for jeans for like christmas and stuff because i hate buying jeans because they're so expensive i feel like jeans now are like 30 to 40 pounds minimum which absolutely no thank you do you know what i mean and another thing which Ryan got for my birthday is this, which is the Heavenly Sweets candy box, which is an American candy box. I think you get this from Amazon, um, which I'm really, really just, I'm so excited about this because look at all of these sweets. I feel, oops, I feel very, very spoiled with this. There's so many different sweets in here. I have actually eaten a couple. Ryan had a Tootsie Roll. I've eaten two Airheads. Um, because I just could not, I, my, my mouth is watering thinking about it, I could not wait, um, but I'm so excited, and you just have loads of things, so that is another thing he got me, I love a good, like, sweet snack, I'm a real, like, snacker, so I'm very excited about that. The next few items are from my friends Zoe, Steph, and Beth, and we decided at Christmas, because we did a secret Santa, that we really wanted to start doing birthday presents but like as a group if you know what I mean so this is from all three of them and then for Steph's birthday next month or this month as you're watching but February we're all going to kind of come together and get her something so I'm really really excited and they bought me some really beautiful things so the first item they picked up for me is this really beautiful coffee tumbler it says have a magical day on it with Tinkerbell I absolutely 
love this so much. I am so excited to use it. I think I'm going to go make an iced coffee after this video. Um, and just it's just such a perfect size for an iced coffee. So I am so excited about this. I absolutely love it. And you are going to see a theme by the way. The next three things they bought me were all Disney pins and I did not expect this at all because obviously you guys know I'm a massive Disney fan. I haven't been to Disneyland Paris since August of 2020 which is, it feels ridiculous because me and Holly used to go maybe three times a year which I know is so lucky. Um, so I am having like major withdrawal at the moment but anyway they picked me up three Disney pins. So the first one is this one. I am just gonna take out the packaging so you guys can see because I feel like it doesn't do it justice whatsoever. So the first one we have is this one. This is a 2023 Disney pin. How cute and it spins around like I absolutely love that. Um, I don't know whether this is from the Disney website, I'm not too sure, but it's so cute, I absolutely love it. So that was the first one. They then got me two of the 100 year anniversary pins, which I am so excited about because I obviously am not gonna be going to Walt Disney World anytime soon, um, so I'm so thankful to have these because this is the sort of thing that I look at online and I sort of put in a basket and then I think oh, I shouldn't really buy it because I have like other things I should buy do you know what I mean um so this is the Disneyland one sorry not Disney World is it Disneyland that's having the 100 years or is it the Disney World I think it's Disneyland anyway this is the first one it's so cute it's got Mickey and Minnie on it and it's just like really nice quality I absolutely love the look of that so they got me that one and the third one looks like this so it has Mickey and Pluto on it it's just so cute I'm so thankful to have these again because I wouldn't have bought them for myself so I really really love that so thank you guys so much but they also picked up one more thing which I am so excited about hang on I'm do you know what? I'm just gonna wait there one minute because I feel like we need to just have a big reveal for this last one because I'm so excited about them are you ready <laughs> I just want to go to Disneyland so I can wear these all the time oh I love them so these are obviously the 100 year anniversary ears. How beautiful. So I actually haven't bought any Disney ears since August of 2020. So I feel like this has just kind of gotten rid of my like itch, you know, because these are absolutely stunning. Um, and again, I have been looking on the website at the 100 year stuff and I do just really want to buy it all, but this is stunning. So thank you guys so much. I love everything amazing and the last few bits I think are all from my mum and dad because it's all in one bag so I'm gonna go through those so the first thing is this I think my dad picked this out and it is like a jokey present just because you know it's funny um if you guys don't know I really want a corgi like a corgi would be just a dream to have a corgi it used to be a cocker spaniel to be honest I love most dogs um but a corgi is my current like dog that I really really want to get um and my dad found this it's a booty shaking pup I don't really know what you do with it or why it shakes or like does it shake in the sun is it like I don't know but I just there is no explanation for this apart from the fact that it was a corgi which is why I picked it up I can imagine the next thing is something which I said to myself I wasn't going to start collecting but I saw this and I was just like like I need that it's a corgi jelly cat <laughs> I just, like, I just can't, like, I just, I feel like this is the closest I'm going to get to a corgi for a long time, so I feel like I'm allowing it, um, but I'm 29, and I still get stuffed toys for my birthday, but I absolutely love it, and you can go with the collection of jelly cats, which I now have four, I feel like that's an okay amount, if we get start getting any more then we have a problem. The next two things from my parents are from Beauty Works. I have the Beauty Works 10 in 1 Miracle Spray and the Beauty Works Argan Serum Oil. And I, we got these from, I think, Boots. And I didn't realise that Boots actually sold Beauty Works stuff. So we picked these up. A lot of the stuff I got from my parents, I actually was there while they bought them because they never really know what to get me so I usually just kind of point stuff out that I like but I picked these up from Boots and I'm really excited to give them a try actually I've heard really good stuff about the Beauty Works hair care stuff so really looking forward to that oh we then have two food items because if you guys don't know I am obsessed with chocolate Brazil nuts <laughs> like it's becoming a problem um, and there's a shop in my local town which sell the best chocolate Brazil nuts 
so I got two packets of those, love it, and I am going to open those in a minute and munch on them because I completely forgot that I actually had those. And last but not least are all books from mum and dad, so I'm going to go in no particular order and just pull them out. The first one is Good Girls Die First by Catherine Foxfield. Now, I read Tag You're Dead, was that what it's called, um, in the same kind of collection um, and I did like that book it was a bit of a weird one like I didn't absolutely fall in love with it but it was quite good um, so I felt like I needed this one just to add to my collection and I got that one from WH Smiths also from WH Smiths we have Who's Lying Now which looks really good this is by Susan Lewis um, and it looks like a really good story I don't really know what it's about but it looks really really good so picked this one up from Smiths as well and to go alongside that one we went with Beware the Claws That Catch Alice and this looks like I don't know what this is essentially about if I guess it's about like a dark retelling of Alice in Wonderland and there is one called the Red Queen which I'm really excited about so yeah I just I love Alice in Wonderland if you guys didn't know it's one of my favorite Disney films um and I saw this and I just thought that looks really interesting and it might be like a really nice sort of different read and it is only about 330 pages so love that then we found an absolute bargain in the works and i say we found but me and mum went shopping in town and i said that i was going to buy these books so she was just going to get them for me for my birthday um but the absolute find of the year was the stephanie garber um what series is this i don't even know but it's the one that's finale legendary and carnival um and i was literally going to pick these up from waterstones but i found these in the works for 15 pounds you can't go wrong i feel and i'm really excited about this i've had really good things um so i'm so excited to have these in my collection another trio we picked up was the holly black series this is the folk of air wait the folk of the air the fo folk of the air trid anyway it's this series, comes in threes. Um, I actually do have the cool prints already, but I really wanted these two and it worked out cheaper to buy these two, or it was like the same to buy these two in the set of three than to buy them on their own, very bizarre. Um, so I might keep the book and do like a giveaway at some point this year, so keep your eyes out for that. But yes, really excited about that one. And last but definitely not least is a book from Waterstones and this is The Way I Used To Be by Amber Smith. To be honest, I literally picked this up because of the front cover, like it's so, I don't know, it looks like it's going to be sad. I will say it's not got a good flop though. Like there's no... Which is a shame because it's quite... I'm going to have to break that spine and that gives me the ick. But yeah, absolutely stunning. Love it. So I'm really excited about that one as well. So that is everything I got for my 29th birthday. I am well aware I got absolutely spoilt this year. I did also receive money from a few people like my nan um, and from Ryan's mum. So thank you guys so much. But I am just so thankful for everything that I got and I feel really really grateful but I need to go and tidy this all away now so I am gonna go but thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me it really means a lot if you haven't subscribed make sure you do and I will see you in my next one bye guys